This is how you can create a cool brick wall patterns watch inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dia Graphics. So here we are in Illustrator and the first thing we want to do is draw a rectangle. And the rectangle needs to be 400 by 100 pixels. And make sure this link is off so you can adjust the proportions separately. Now give this brick a color and disable the stroke. And I will use this red color, but you can use any color that you like. If you want my colors, I will leave a download link down in the description. Now go to the selection tool and select this brick. Then hold down the Alt key to duplicate and the Shift key to make sure you drag it in a straight line. And put the brick just next to the other brick. Then go to the X value and type in plus 30 pixels. Then select both bricks and do the same thing for these. And once again, go to the X value and type in plus 30 pixels. So now we have one row of bricks. Then with the entire row selected, hold down the Alt key to duplicate the entire row and move them until the gaps of the upper row is exactly above the middle of the bricks below. You will see the screen guideline right here. Then go to the Y value and type in minus 30 pixels. Now select both rows and do the same thing once again. And this time you just need to duplicate and hold down the shift key to place it just above right here. Then once again go to the Y value and type in minus 30 pixels. And do this one last time. So select all the rows, duplicate the bricks and put them just above the other bricks. Then go to the Y value and type in minus 30 pixels. So now we have all the bricks we need. Now we need to adjust them to look more natural. I will just move them to the canvas. So now to make the bricks look more realistic, instead of just red uniform rectangles, we are going to do a couple of steps. First one is to vary the colors slightly. So select the first brick, go to the fill, and choose a color that is slightly different from the original. I found that using colors that is one circle width away from the original works great, but do only use this area right here. Do not move towards the saturated area right here. So I will select this color right here and you can also move this slider right here to make it a little bit more yellow. Click OK. Now go to the next brick, go to the fill and just before I choose this color. So now I will go the other way and use this color. And for this color I will not make it more yellow. So just click OK. And for the third brick I will use another color. So simply just keep doing this until you have a lot of variations. I will fast forward right now. So now all the bricks are a slightly different color, but they still look way too perfect. So what we are going to do is select all the bricks, then go to Effect, go to Distort and Transform, and select Roughen. Then click the Preview button, click Absolute, adjust the size to 1 pixel, and the detail to 3 per inch. Obviously you can choose whatever you want here, but these settings just make some slight imperfections in the bricks. So click OK. So as you can see, if we zoom in, the bricks now has some slight jagged edges. So now zoom out again, select all the bricks, and we need to round the corners a little bit. So go to Effect, go to Stylize, and go to Round Corners. And here we select three pixels, and click OK. So if we zoom in now, you can see that the corners are slightly rounded. So zoom out again. And now we need to make the actual pattern. So select all the bricks, go to object, go to pattern, and go to make. Now we need to adjust the pattern so it fits seamlessly. So click this box right here that says size tile to art. And the gap from this brick to this brick is half a brick plus half a gap. And half a brick is 200 pixels and half a gap is 15 pixels. This means that we are going to move the edge spacing by minus 215 pixels. So now the gap is closed, but we want a gap between these two as well. So add in a 30 pixels gap. And for the V spacing, simply add in 30 pixels gap. So now everything should be okay, but we might need to do some small adjustments. So now move to this corner right here. And as you might be able to see, these gaps that we adjusted ourselves 
are ever so slightly bigger than the original gaps. So simply just subtract a couple of pixels until you think it looks good. I think it looks good right here. When you're done, click OK. So now we can zoom out and either move or delete these bricks. Then simply create a shape that you want to apply your pattern on and select the pattern you just made. And if you want the gaps to be grey instead of white while having the shape selected, go to edit, then go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. Then simply select the grey color for the background. If you want to watch more videos on how to make patterns, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.